What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Mixamo characters in Unity to replace the third person controller. So now our third person controller is working. But we want to replace it with a Mixamo character. So let's go ahead and go to Mixamo.com. Click on Characters. And find something that you'd like to use. Uh, that Paladin is the one we wanted. And we're going to hit Download. Uh, we're going to choose FBX for Unity and leave it at Tipos and hit Download. Now that we have the Paladin, we can drag it into our Unity project, into our project folder. So let's drag that over. There we go. Now if we click on this um, Paladin, you'll see that we have a couple of tabs over here. We do need to make a couple changes. In Rig, we need to change this to a humanoid and hit Apply. And in our materials, um, because this character doesn't have any materials, just like Ethan doesn't, we need to extract the textures uh, for this character. So let's go ahead and um, go to uh, the character, materials, and go to extract textures. Select the folder and fix. Now you'll see that we have our full textures on our character, um, but we still can't control it and it's also a slightly different size. So what we're going to do is we want to actually connect these two characters together. So we're going to place our Paladin inside of our third person controller and then we're going to um, move them to the same space. Now we could try and do it by hand and it'll work, but it's kind of unnecessary because we can actually do it like this. So we're going to set this position to zero and zero. And then we're going to set his location to zero and zero. <coughs> now they're in the exact same location. They're just a slightly different size. So we're going to um, change that as well. Let's click on our Paladin again. And under scale, let's try 0.8. A mm, little too short, so let's try 0.9. There we go. That seems like it's pretty close. I guess I could lower it slightly. Uh, maybe 0.85. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now that our character is in roughly the same position, we can go into our um, three items that relate to Ethan and uncheck those and they'll disappear. Um, however, there's one last step because if we hit play, our character will not animate. He can move, but he can't animate. So we need to go into our third person controller and switch this from Ethan's avatar to our Paladin avatar. And now when we hit play, our Paladin is animated and textured and we can use it within our game however we'd like uh so yeah that's about it um i know i went over some of the extra stuff on how to import the um packs and fix all those bugs and stuff but i feel like it's better to include everything than leave something out and have you guys get lost so feel free to scrub through the video and find what you need uh thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below peace what You've never heard of stream savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.